ready to TSOP flash your original Xbox version 1.0 or 1.1? I'll show you all the steps you need to take to get it done. Coming up next. Don't forget to like and comment below and subscribe so you don't miss any great new content. Thanks so much. You'll need both soldering and software skills to complete this task. There's not much soldering to do, but the points are very, very small, and there's a danger of lifting up the pads off the board. Keep that soldering iron heat low to prevent that problem. Warning, not following these instructions can brick your Xbox, and this is only for Xbox 1.0 and 1.1. And only use this process if you have a Hynix, Hyundai, or ST brand TSOP chip. Otherwise, stop now. Hi, my name is Blaine. And welcome to this video on how to TSOP flash your original Xbox. Before we get started, I want to give you a little bit of information about why you'd want to do this in the first place, and also what the heck a TSOP even is. TSOP is just an acronym for Thin Small Outline Package. In today's terms, that's just a fancy way of saying flash memory. The Xbox uses a TSOP for what's called an electrically erasable programmable read-only memory, or an EEPROM. You can erase data from it and write new data back to it. It's not permanently burned. It can be written to over and over, kind of like today's modern flash memory can. However, on the original Xbox motherboard, the circuits that allow that chip to be erased and rewritten are disabled at the factory. So for you to be able to reprogram your TSOP, you just have to re-enable the circuits that make that possible. I'll be applying the TSOP software to this Xbox version 1.0. It's already been soft modded with the Rocky 5 soft mod, but if you haven't already soft modded your Xbox, you cannot apply the TSOP software. So if you haven't already soft modded your Xbox, just click on the link above in the right corner so that you can apply the soft mod to your Xbox first. All the instructions you'll need are right there in the video. To take the case apart for the Xbox, flip it over gently and lay it on its top side. You'll need a T20 Torx screwdriver bit, and you'll also need to remove the four rubber feet from the bottom of the console. There are hidden Torx screws underneath. There are also two screws underneath the labels, one here and one here. I've already modded this console, so the bolts are already clearly indicated where they are. And the holes were actually punched through the labels before I ever got the console. At this point, flip the console back over. You want to make sure the guts stay in the bottom. Carefully remove the case from the sides and the back and the front. And it should come right off. Don't apply any great deal of force to it or you run the risk of breaking the lid. You'll need to remove T10 torque screws from here. And also two from the front here and here. Once those are removed, you can lift the DVD drive gently. And lift the hard drive gently. Flip the DVD drive out of the way. Pull the power out of the back of the hard drive, and you have open access. To remove the motherboard, start by removing the IDE cable. 
and remove the power cord to the DVD drive and secure these out of the way. Next, remove the power supply connector from the motherboard. Remove the front panel push button connector. Remove the power connection for the case fan. And remove the wire for the controller ports. There are 11 T10 torque screws that need to come out of the version 1.0 and 1.1 motherboard. Anywhere where you see a screw like this with a reinforcement around it, that's a screw that's holding the motherboard to the case. And there are two screws in the back by the port that don't have that obvious reinforcement on the motherboard, but they're right here. With all 11 removed and all the wires disconnected, the motherboard comes right out. This is looking through a magnifying lens and the maximum zoom on the camera. So this is really, really blown up. This is a very small point that you have to hit with your soldering iron and you have to be very careful. Do not apply heat to this point for a very long time or you will lift the pads up and that's going to make the TSOP process much more difficult. So here's the one you want to bridge, R7D3. Those two little dots right next to R7D3. It's located just above the LPC connector. Just apply the solder with light heat and move quickly and it should work out fine. There it is, bridged together. Flip the board over and look underneath this piece of taped padding here. You'll find R7R3. It's hidden underneath this. So you'll need to bridge the two dot points to the bottom right corner of the number three, R7R3. Just bridge them with some solder. Solid. Just remember to keep that iron moving so you don't lift the pads or burn the connector points. Power on the Xbox and load up Hexen. This says Heimdall, but it is in fact Hexen. And I'll give you the link in the description below. Come down to TSOP flashed chipped Xbox tools. Come down to mod chip TSOP flash, not Winbond. You'll get this pop-up message, just click OK. Then it will start to copy files directly over to the hard drive. Once your Xbox comes back up, you'll see this screen. Pick Flash 256K BIOS version 1.0 through 1.5. If you're planning to replace the hard drive in the Xbox, like I'm planning to do, you'll need to go down to Evo X M8 plus F and G. That will allow you to do partitions 
up to the maximum two terabytes that the Xbox can support through SATA drives. And here's the moment for which you did all that work. Time to flash the BIOS. Press Y. It will erase the existing BIOS. And it will flash in the new BIOS. And this is all shown in real time. It's pretty quick. Your Xbox will abruptly turn off after the BIOS is flashed in. Don't panic, it's supposed to do that. Just hit the power button. Once it powers back up and you see the Evo X logo in the top left corner, congratulations, mission accomplished. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it added value to your gaming experiences and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe so you don't miss all of the new upcoming original content coming your way soon. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.